Henry's law is a law that describes the behavior of gases with solutions, gases dissolving into solutions. Henry's law states that the solubility of the gas in the solution is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas in equilibrium with the solution. So this is the equation that describes the proportionality there. So the solubility of the gas is directly proportional to the partial pressure of the gas in solution. The proportionality constant K is specific for each gas solvent combination. And K is temperature dependent. So the solubility of gas in solution will decrease as we increase temperature. So as we heat up a liquid, um, it drives out the gases. This is the opposite for solubility of solids and liquids, which normally increase with temperature. Gases decrease. So we do have gases in solution. For our tap water, we put a little bit of chlorine in there to prevent things growing in our pipes. And if we want to get rid of the chlorine, we can boil the water to drive the chlorine out. Soda is another common gas in a solution. We can see our proportionality, proportionality of pressure and uh, solubility with that one. Take an unopened plastic or plastic bottle or aluminum can and squeeze them. And you can feel they're firm. They have a bit of pressure in them. As you start to open it up, you hear the pressure release and you feel the can or the bottle will get soft now. But after the pressure decreases, we've taken it from somewhere above atmosphere down to an atmosphere. Now the soda starts to bubble the carbon dioxide out. So before you open it, it's in equilibrium. The partial pressure of the carbon dioxide is equal to the, uh, the appropriate concentration in the solution. They're in equilibrium. The carbon dioxide is dissolving from this, coming out of the solution at the same rate it's going into the solution. But we take that pressure away, it can't go into the solution as fast, but it still comes out in the same rate. So then we start to lose the gas from the solution. If it happens fast enough, then the solution can bubble and fizz. So we're going to do this calculation in two different directions. So our first one here, we're given partial pressure and total pressure of a gas, and the constant. This is for oxygen in water. I didn't write it down, but it was for zero Celsius. And this is obviously from an older book. It's using a, our millimeters of mercury, moving away from uh, those units, but uh, we have uh, the constant in millimeters of mercury and moles per kilogram. And that's what we end up getting our units in. And that's molality. So we can show our solid built in a couple different ways. So we get that from the units that are used in the constant as to what concentration, concentration units we actually put out. So we want to, we're given both pressures. We want to make sure we're using the partial pressure of the gas for interest. The other gases present do not affect how the solubility of the oxygen is. They might dissolve in themselves, but they're not going to affect this solubility. So we take our K and our partial pressure. Uh, the units are matching, so we can just multiply them together. And we get 2.1 times 10 minus 4 moles per kilogram. And that's the units of molality. So we got uh, 2.14 times 10 minus 4 molality of oxygen in that water. Another problem, we're going to go in the opposite direction. So we're given our constant for nitrogen dissolving in water. And uh, I was at 25 degrees Celsius. And I'm normally a little better at uh, writing down these details. We don't use these, but the number is different at different temperatures. We're given our solubility of nitrogen 0.00218 molarity. We check our units. We have molarity 
as both concentration units, so they will cancel off. We want to know what the partial pressure of the gas in equilibrium with the solution is. So we solve our equation for pressure, so that'll be solubility over our constant. Our solubility over the constant, the molarity cancels off, we're left with atmospheres, and we see that as 2.10 atmospheres. 